Good afternoon, oil traders. It is 2.55 p.m. Eastern Time on October 27th, Friday, and wow, um, OPEC has screwed with the bears. Um, we are almost at $54, and this morning I was talking about whether or not we'd be able to get to 53. Get to 53, not even crack 53. Well, we blew past it. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, really crappy right now for the bears and I, unfortunately, um, but uh, it is what it is. I was planning on buying at 53, and when we got there, I bought. Um, I bought a relatively small position, and uh, when we jumped up to and settled for at least a brief moment at 53.30, I bought yet again a smaller position, and we didn't end up settling there either, and we went yet e even higher. So at that time, I decided to be a little bit more patient and just wait to see what happens. Um, uh, eventually, we touched uh, 53.92, I think it was, um, and then came back down a little bit and basically settled. And now we're right back at the at that previous high again at 53.91, as you can see on the chart to my right, um, which is where I bought for a third and final time today. Um, you can see these transactions on my portfolio page on tradingjournal.ca, which is now even even heavier. Um, on the uh, bear side here, um, you can see the portfolio weighting started out with a seven, um, almost eight percent weighting, dropped it to just below six percent weighting, and uh, finished off with a nine percent weighting, the largest purchase of the day, but still relatively small if you look at my historical um, lot size there. But uh, yeah, this definitely sucks. Um, hopefully, the bears get a, a relief trade soon um, but for now it seems handily within the control of the bulls as OPEC seems to be building confidence in its ability to not only cut but stick to those cuts so whether you believe it or not um, it appears that most people do and uh, yeah for now it's just gonna be painful um, to watch I guess uh, fortunately, I still have um, cash on the side available to play this um, depending on where the action takes us and I'll be planning on doing so. That's what the cash is there for. Um, but yeah, hopefully um, you bulls out there got these calls right and you were betting um, up bullish even as we approached $53 um, and you'd be looking really, really smart today. Let me know in the comments down below or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, performance, etc, etc. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys over the weekend to do a weekend review, as painful as that will be, um, and a outlook for the week ahead. And until then, cheers, good luck.